say hello to Rihanna. Yeah! Oh, Rihanna! Please welcome <laughs> Cherry. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Brother house. Thank you very much, Big Brother. It is a pleasure to be here. Oh, I think this is wonderful. <laughs> it's fantastic. Tonight on Big Brother, meet the new guys, Rihanna. Do, do we have a hairdresser in the house? Cherry. I'm loving it, eh? I can't wait to flare it up in the morning. And Terence. Oh, I don't, I, I'm not interested in talking behind people's backs. Three intruders and a shock for the originals. You no longer have the power to evict each other. That power has gone back to the people. No! Look who's back. <laughs> And so are nominations later in tonight's show. Who do you nominate for two points and why? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. The arrival of three intruders has the house buzzing. This is good though. Is this this is you've been in here for like five or six weeks? Yeah. You're doing brilliant. <laughs> after after five days, I'm gonna have that much. <laughs> After last night's eviction of Dixie, the first one through the door is Rihanna, a 25-year-old single mother from Sydney. It's, it's the most, she's the most... No, but it's a like, no, She's just Bridget, she's beautiful. <laughs> she was followed by Cherry, a 22-year-old marketing student from the Gold Coast. Yeah, yeah, most of them do. I work in a bar and most of the ones get... So you're a student but you work in a bar? Yeah, just on like the weekends. All right. Get a bit of coin to run amok and go out and whatnot. Is that shooters? Do you have a girlfriend? No, no, no. Are you single? No, uh, shooters. Are you no, single? No, I'm single, single, yeah. Right. Why are you keen? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you might take Bridget off our hands. Oh, really? <laughs> Please take her off our hands. <laughs> and Terence, a 51-year-old auctioneer from Perth. Do you reckon he's hot? Yeah. He's too structured for me. He's no, too perfect. Right? Well, he's not my type, but I think Yeah, he's not my type. Mm. His eyes are awesome. Yeah. I rate him. Big brother, I rate him. Oh my god, can you please? And I like his clothing. He probably won't be a virgin. Ask me his virgin. Say, are you a virgin? I like his clothing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's really good too. We'll be his out. Look for the new dude. Yeah, Excuse me. Yo. We have a communal girl question. No, we do. What is it? Are you a virgin? Alice wants to jump here. No, it was It was really. Who was it? You, why would I be a virgin? Yeah, what the f? I need a. Oh, no, I said a good moon. I can say you. What are you saying, Megan? It's always your question. What are you just balls up and ask me? What was my question? What? If you're gay. Who brought it up? Who's gay? I can tell he's not gay. Alice on the Gold Coast. He's not a virgin. I can tell he's not gay or a virgin. Nah, mate. None of that stuff. Because the amazing Michael was born 17 years ago today uh, at, a, at quarter to six or something and I never forget when I held him because it was an emergency caesarean and I held him in my arms and I remember I made this with my thumb that went up his ear and across his forehead. It was the first touch, you know, that yeah. I, and it went up and it went across his forehead and every now and then I go up to him and I go... Like that, and it brings it back That's to me, That's and so and he understands it now. I don't do it all the time. I'm actually, I, 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 I should do it more often. Sit down, yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Wait, wait. Hey. What do you reckon? Hey, but you're my boy, no? Nothing. Nothing's in a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing in the world. Rock it on, yeah. uh, no, I got, no. uh, hey, I got your back, son. I got your back. You know it, man. You know it. I got your back. You know it, man. You know it, man. You know it, Hey, Benny? Yeah, you don't. Oh, you know it's first enough. How old are you, Terry? How old are you, Ricky? Around 1974. Yeah, I used to have a beard. Actually, no, answer. I don't know. Hey? 
How old do you reckon? Don't pull me on this. It was pride am I conversation. Older, am I older than Good. Terrence or younger Good than Terrence? Yeah, older or younger. That's all you have to say. I'm just going to say young because I can feel something coming on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I don't, right. know. I don't, I don't know. I thought I you'd be like... I think you look 60 years old. Oh, I yeah. don't. Nah. Really? I don't know. No, I'll tell, you, that, and no, I'll tell you what, there is absolutely no way she looks 60 year, years old because the chicks that I used to go to high school and st stuff like it's that, who I know now, um, look around about that age. I wouldn't pick you for 60 in a million years. You were early 50s from my way I said. I don't reckon I'm going to get along with the old guy. Really? To be honest, I, don't I reckon he'll be sweat. I reckon maybe the other one. I don't think, I don't think he's going to get along with uh, me specifically. What do you reckon your first impression is of um, Cherry? All right, but you know you guys are my boys. That's all. Yeah, I know. We no. know. We know. But what do you What do you reckon? Honestly, mm, a bit arrogant. Man. Arrogant? Mm, I okay. thought that. Yeah. Well, we'll, hey, next couple of days we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I can't. I'm yeah. not gonna. Oh, yeah. we'll see. I was saying to Nob, we asked for an arrogant guy, and yeah. <laughs> it seems like we got both. <laughs> Hope so. You can't just call it that. Yeah. We'll, see well they're going to be immune this I'm week. I'm going to try and get out of late. They're going to be immune. I want to sleep next door. Huh? I want to sleep next door. Because Renee's into the other dude. You reckon? Wait, yeah. she, she said, she said, she said that. Yeah, Alice told me. Huh? Alice told me she's so into, into the other dude. So I'm going to go to Alice. I'll go, I'm going to say, Alice, get her to sleep next to you on my side. <laughs> I think that Cherry should take Dave's spot since he's most like Dave. Where's Why is Dave he most sleep? like Dave? How, how is he most like Dave? Where's Dave sleep? I don't know. It was just a reason to get him to stay in Dave's spot. Okay. I don't then know what's going so on. Like... I'm just going to sleep wherever I fall asleep. And just I don't think he's like, Renate, like Dave. Oh, Alice, I'll explain it to you later. Oh, you just want him to sleep next to me? Blonde hair's kicking in. Oh, Renee wants him to sleep next to her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to, I don't know, I'll just sleep wherever. It should be right. Well, there are a whole lot of vacant spots. They can just make a spot. Two. There are a whole lot. There's heaps. Four, the five, six. Like, You've got seven spots to choose from. What's the order? Just tell me what the order is. It I, don't, goes, I don't really care. Ben's here. Then there's a gap, then there's me, then there's a gap, 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 gap. Bridget, gap, Alice, gap, Rory, Renee, gap. I don't know what's going on. So technically, you should actually be sleeping next to me because there's four gaps. But Renee has a gap next to her too because he's so like David. Exactly. I'm going to give him a chance, give them a chance. I'll give them a week. But they've got to fit in with us. Exactly. We don't have to fit in with them, you know. Look, they've left me already, and Ben, you're the only one staying here, you know. Dogs. <laughs>
was a blatant disregard of the housemate guidelines. Big Brother is awarding you each your first strike yeah. in the Big Brother house. Fair draw. Big deal. Big deal. I don't want to know. This is Big Brother. Housemates, yes. direct your eyes to the plasma screen. Hi housemates, obviously I've left the house. Um, miss you heaps, hope you have a good time. The best things about the house is that you are all open, uh, very friendly, kind, honest. Some of you may have hidden agendas, but I do think you need to start pulling your weight and stop um, allowing for Alice and Terry to be do, doing all the work. If it may not kill you girls, but it would be nice for you to get up and maybe help with the bread or do the washing up. Particularly you, Bridget, seems as you're lazy and never do the washing up. Yes. Rory, can you please pick up all your stuff from the bathroom door? It's so annoying. I, have to, I trip over Love it every it. single time I walk <laughs> into the bathroom and I'm sick of it. As the laundry lady, I would like to say, Rory, you have the smelliest clothes. Bridget, you have the tiniest G-strings on the planet. <laughs> and Nobby, I did stain your jumper. Oh. Stain her. <laughs> Rory and Bianca, I think you both want to plan a beautiful big patch on each other, but are too scared because of the cameras, and I think you should just do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Renners. <laughs> um, Really good luck, girlfriend. I hope you win Big Brother. My money's on you. I can't wait to catch up and have a beer in the Tav. Um, keep smiling, and I'll see you soon. Al, I'm going to miss your heats, mate. <laughs> well, I loved our chats. Can't wait to catch up and party with you. I hope you're not crying either. I hope you didn't cry when I left. Um, stay strong, girlfriend, and I'll see you on the flip side. Ah, I got goosebumps for you then. Now it's time to deliver the post eviction hand grenade. Oh. Tonight there will be not one but two hand grenades <laughs> one from me and one from Big Brother. Oh. These grenades will change everything. It will have the biggest effect on the house so far. To hear what Big Brother's hand grenade is, all housemates to the diary room immediately. What about yours? Oh. No! no. 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 Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Hey, give us that, Terry. Oh my god, it's fuzzy water. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, she hasn't been there. That's what she... Harry. Housemates. <laughs> Tonight, the rules of Big Brother have changed. For the past five weeks, the power to evict one another has been in your hands. You have decided who stays and who goes. This ends tonight. You no longer have the power to evict each other. That power has gone back to the people. No! Yes! <laughs> Housemates, from this moment on, you nominate Australia evicts. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> After the break, fun turns to fireworks. That is the definition of narrow-minded. Whenever you come into my combi, it's called a combi party. OK, come so what's the party. protocol of... Um, anyone can come in. Anyone can come in, but it's obviously yours, so right. you've got a bit of a choice on what's going down. Yeah, come down, take a seat. Thanks, mate. That's all right, man. That's cool. And we shut it, and then we turn it into a combi party. Oh, like good. This. I'm telling you now, I'm a straight shooter. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'm very Absolutely. honest. Absolutely. Well, mate, you'll find, you won't find any straighter shooter than me on the planet, mate. All right. As long as you've got that, that's, you know? that's what I respect, huh? Yeah. I, I, like I don't, I, I'm not interested in talking behind people's backs. Exactly. You Couldn't give us stuff, bang, mate. mate. That's all it is, huh? Yep. I like that. Yep. That's well, what that's I how, respect. Yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. Oh, I'm man's combi in it straight up. Yeah. <laughs> all right, then. Nobody, nobody thinks he doesn't He's like cool. it, man. He's cool.
Yeah, my dad died when I was 16. My mum was on a supporting pension and went out to work, and I got a job in a service station pumping juice and all that to, to, to do it. But kids just get too much on the platter That's a bit true. these days. That's you true. know, they don't understand that they actually have to to have to work, That's but true. more often than not it's the parents' fault, yep. not the kids' fault, you know. Yeah. If you're going to get something on a platter, mate, and they're going to keep giving it to exactly. you, mate, you're just going to go, yeah, thank you very it's much. It's too easy, dude. Yeah. That's all. I appreciate that you came and took the time to chat to me. You're the only guy so far, man, like out of, out of the intruders. You go, Nobby, I'm going to come chat with you. And the other two haven't done it, so. Yeah, no you problem, mate. mate. I know, mate, you're a straight out bloke. Absolutely. You have two sisters? Yeah, I got two sisters and a brother. Cool. Solid family. My fan. brother's 19 and my one sister's 16 and one sister's 14. I have one sister and a brother. How old? 23. And my brother is 21. Oh, really? Do you guys all live together now? Yeah, um, could you live out of home? What yeah, yeah, I moved out of home when I was like, set. well, I had to because I was having a baby. Yeah. <laughs> when I was like 17. Oi, I must, Ollie, just, jobs. Be, I must be just be like the, um, label the twat, because even B came up and she's like, like, the new boy's yours? I'm like, what? Dude, like... I don't reckon you show that. No, but she came up and asked him. Oh, it's the one who's hot. You can't deny he's good looking. Like, he's not my look. He's too good. He's, he's too, too good, good looking. looking. Yeah. He's not my sort. I wouldn't date mm. him. But he, he, if a bit of guy can't in here, I'm not, I'm not, not going to bat. Hey, I'll crush him. Without doubt. He's so like, if I'm here on my birthday and I get dead, I'm not knocking that back. <laughs> Sorry, Nate, but you didn't put it out. <laughs> Once you should go ready. press it all the time, you'll go oh, after cool. him. After you. Oh, that's so sweet. That's and then boss. push. You oh. sit where you would like. Well, you might as well sit in the middle and you can be the rose between two thorns. No, hopefully you can't see up my skirt. Really? I, I, from, I, I practice, here, I've been practicing sitting properly. <laughs> <laughs> Terence, Rihanna, Cherry. Yep. Hello, big, big brother. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. Can I tell you something, guys, right now? What? You guys are my original friends. Oh, thank you. We are a family, yeah, this is the guys. Family. Let's not forget that. This is the family. And we will lose one extra person. One of us are going to At the expense of one week. of them. Cesar, oh, oh, you rate the new kids in order of preference. Yeah, go. Old man. This is what we're doing. I reckon old man, girl, girl. boy. Girl first. Really? Then the old guy, then the young fella. That's, the same as most That's been popular choice really? tonight. Mm. She's lovely. She's, she's nice. She's, 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 nice. Oh, she's genuine, I reckon. He's a dude. Down to earth. It's, yeah, it's, sur it's surreal, big bro. So I'll just get over that surrealness. You know, people throw <laughs> that word around a lot, but it's just like, hello, I'm here. Just tell me what you think. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm very tired. <laughs> Old mate's got to sleep. He's, he's rattled. I'm knackered. I'm still a bit overwhelmed. I'm loving it, though. I can't wait to flare it up in the morning. You're talking about my life, we my were body. Asking. Do I we go up to you, Alan, and say, just because you got small kids, you should get bigger ones? For it. Unknown to the three new people, there's a flare-up already happening. A high decibel debate about whether Bianca should have a breast reduction. How would you know how I feel and why I want to choose what I choose? It's my choice. We never argued that, but if it's such a melodramatic issue, then it's an operation you can have now, and that's what we don't understand. If it's something that you're going to do later, why make this a big goddamn issue? And that's what we're saying. We think you seem to promote them or defend them more than you say they're an issue. You reckon you hate them, but then yeah. you get giggly and joke about them sometimes, so I just didn't know where you understand where exactly. we're coming from. And it's, we didn't have a shot at you. Housemates, do you have any first impressions on your fellow housemates? I liked oh, yeah. Alice because she took me under her wing straight away, which yeah. was very nice, and said, sleep here. Yeah. That was really nice of her. Yeah, she's a warm, I think, I get, I get warmth out of Alice. We'll right. always agree with you. We'll oh, never yeah. bring up any issue about you. You can have That's tits. fine. It's not about that. You can say whatever the hell you want. Because you're not going to tell us. The definition of narrow-minded. Well, well, shut me now. You're so narrow-minded, Bianca. I'm narrow-minded. Yeah. They're my boobs, man. Well, we can sit here and hear your opinion and take it on board, and we we were just trying to understand your okay, eyes. Okay, we were just saying you're never trying to do. Bianca seems like more fun, though, here, I think. 
politicians. But what I get out of Bianca <laughs> is that Bianca's yeah. hanging for intellectual stimulation. Yes. And so yes. she's like looking, are these three people going to intellectually stimulate me? That's uh, an insight I, I felt. How'd you go with Terry? You all, really? That's just bull****. I get called narrow-minded when you two keep going around in circles trying We're to make me feel like I'm... When people have point of view A and B, they don't agree. I've got no time for you, man, at all. Bianca is leaving, but returns to the fray after being taunted by a parting comment from Renee. Oh, I'm defending them, then I get two tosses that think that they know how I feel to have them. One said that if we If it agree. was a physical <laughs> disability, like a gammy arm or something, it wouldn't be a story of when do you want it fixed. We didn't even say that. Obviously, you weren't <laughs> listening. Yeah, go off. I'm just looking forward to getting to know everybody. Because, I mean, if you get to know everybody, then you get something out of everyone. You get something out of your interactions with everybody. I think Terence just wants to go to sleep and talk about it in the morning, <laughs> brother. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit weary. <laughs> it's my life. I know. It's my they shouldn't be And then to say that's the epitome of narrow-mindedness, you're like... It's my body. Mm. I'm listening to what you're saying, but I've heard it my whole life. I don't need to hear it again. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey. Next, a new task, ignoring the obvious, Big Brother style. The rules are simple. You will see and hear things which clearly do not belong in the Big Brother house. To pass this week's task, all you have to do is ignore them. Someone making an ass of themselves. <laughs> Sorry, Rory, they don't get any better, mate. Get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> We're used to the oldies humour. This is Big Brother. Old housemates to the lounge. Hello, this is how it goes. Mm. Gather on my mates by an obby here. Housemates, your task this week is to ignore the obvious. The rules are simple. At any time during this week, you will see and hear things which clearly do not belong in the Big Brother house. To pass this week's task, all you have to do is ignore them. This week you were playing for... Oh, sick! It's like popcorn and like... Oh, food again. Beef burgers, tender chicken, tantalising fruit, crisp vegetables, dairy food, snack food, sizzling salmon steaks. Well, that doesn't interest me. Uh, oh, brother, there should be pokey pokey ice cream rocks. As soon as you open that thing, you can't say so nothing. If it opens up, don't I, I, I might give don't this to Nobby rather than. Ah! Oh! It's a nice day outside. Yeah. Happy early, man. The first ignore the obvious challenge is hard to ignore. The entire backyard has been wrapped in foil. Any reaction at all could see them fail the task. Bobby. Yeah. The new, the new task is to ignore everything out of the ordinary. That's all we have to do is ignore it. It's still raining outside, bro. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm. Thank you. No. I'm not roughing you up. I'm just scratching your ears. Oh, no, I'm just scratching your ears. The girls are having their little girly chat. Yeah, I was going to talk to Rihanna, but like... Oi, man, what the... Oi, there's a... Oh, um... 
There's a pot plant there, man. Pot plants. What's up with the pot plants, man? It's strange as hell. <laughs> You're an idiot. Okay, it's actually the bank's address. Yeah. What are they? And his big brother, um, Renee, to the diary room. I didn't say nothing wrong, did I? Don't no, you're head of house, so this Their address is... Oh, yeah, but I've been in trouble so much lately that I'm just on edge. When he says Renee, I'm like, man, what have I done? I don't know, we'll see what's going on, eh? Sorry. Renee, last night you became involved in a heated conversation with Bianca about breast reduction surgery. Yep. The conversation escalated to an unacceptable level where there was a genuine threat of physical violence. Yeah. The threat of violence whereby you and Bianca were physically restrained by other housemates is a serious breach of the housemate guidelines. Renee, Big Brother is giving you a second strike. <laughs> right, eh? Oh, oh, look, yeah, you're the man that makes the rules and I don't want to argue, but I cannot believe I got a second strike because of her blowing the top off. Renee, this is your second strike. One more. And I'm gone. And you will be evicted from the house. Yep. That is all. Oh, I don't give a shit, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Um, What's the matter? You didn't get another one, did you? Oh, we know. What a strong. Come and talk I don't about know it. I'm upset. Come, come here. Come, come, come here. Come here. Come and talk about it. Oh, I have no intention of doing anything to her. It's just crap. Oh, I get you. Oh, anyway, it's the way the guidelines go. Yeah. Oh, I just bought one. Like, I'm going to be on edge to get my third strike. Oh, this come isn't on. worth that. Okay. <laughs> oh, we know. Come on. Oh, this, oh. this is Big Brother, Bianca, to the diary room. Wakey, wakey. Oh. <laughs> Bianca, last night you became involved in a heated conversation with Renee about breast reduction surgery. The conversation escalated to an unacceptable level where there was a genuine threat of physical violence. Bianca, Big Brother is giving you a strike. Be aware you are not being given this strike for strongly arguing your point nor for defending your position. You are being given a strike because you instigated the threat of physical violence when you left the combi van and then returned and called Renee out of the van. Renee has also received a strike. This is for my birthday party. We went to the fly. What? Um, two. <laughs> two what? Oh. oh. No. We're not even halfway, eh? Is this crickets chirping? Is this awkward silence? There are crickets. There is a cricket in the hand. I think there's two this morning. No, they're throwing it together. Yeah, look at this. This is a cricket. Oh, it's a cricket. 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 Coming up, Travis is back. Give us a hug, Travis. And so are nominations. Who do you nominate for two points and why?
Travis had to leave the house over the weekend after his eye was injured during the boys' prank. Doctors have now given him the all clear to return. This is Big Brother. Housemates. Big Brother promised you an update on Travis's condition. Some of you have been wondering whether or not he will be returning to the house. He is because he'd take us into the diary room. Yeah, like it was actually quite serious. Like I could have gotten blind by it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we figured that they'd been away for so many well, days. Well, we have gotten the dog here. Yeah. That would have been the first time you'd been blind, Travis. Yeah, it would have been yeah, the first time for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been brave. Sit down, Travis. It was brave. Sit down, Travis. Oh. Oh. Right. oh my gosh. I didn't think I'd miss you, eh? Oh. I seriously never, never thought I'd miss you. Oh. 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 You want to go in? Oh. 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 This is Big Brother. Housemates, the eviction process has changed. You will now all nominate housemates for eviction and Australia will have the ultimate say on who stays and who goes. Bianca to the diary room. Smile, Bianca. Smile. Go, Bianca. No, it's a hard choice for today. Maybe I'll get a view. No, <laughs> this is your favourite thing to do. I hate this! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Chance, did you ask about that? No, not yet. I haven't had a chance to go in yet. Bianca, who do you nominate for two points and why? For two points, I nominate Alice. I think she's over controlling and overbearing, and I think that she's playing the game to an extent. Um, she tries to keep everybody happy and. Uh, she'll only have a confrontation when she's backed up by somebody stronger than her. Who do you nominate <laughs> for one point and why? I nominate for one point Terry. Um, while she, I have a lot of respect for her and her values, she, um, she's very opinionated like myself, but I find that some of her opinions and a lot of what she stands for, um, she doesn't back up. Bianca, return to the lounge. Rory. Brother. Who do you nominate for two points and why? Um, for two points this week I nominate Bridget. Um, I find her to be very annoying. Um, some of the stuff that comes out of her mouth is very immature and just really me up the wall. I've tried to um, be pleasant and nice about it, but some of the things that come out of her mouth, like, I can't wait till you die, things like that, just really bug me. Rory, Big Brother will accept your nomination. However, if you swear in the diary room again, you will be issued a strike. Yep. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, for one point this week, I'm going to nominate Terry. Um, I just, I do get along with her, but at the same time, I just don't have much in common with her and I don't think I'm gonna get any more out of her than I already have um, with her being in the house. Um, I feel I know everything about Terry and that's basically it. Who do you nominate for two points and why? Big Brother, I give my two points to Renee. In the last couple of weeks, her um, loud, aggressive nature has really been getting on my nerves. She just talks non-stop, top of her voice, over the top of everyone, all the time. Who do you nominate for one point and why? For one point, I have to give it to Nobby. Last night, him and I had quite a heated argument. 
over the fact that he just does not realise when to say some things and when not to say some things. I thought he was very, very rude to me in front of the new intruders. And I think, I mean, as much as I can get in on a joke as anybody else, you have to get to know people before you say certain things. Renee, who do you nominate for two points and why? Um, I'm giving two points to Bianca, uh, purely because we've had uh, conversations that I believe she's narrow-minded. She comes in here and reckons that she's open-minded. She only sees her side of the story. It's like her way or no way. She's just talking to a brick wall, big brother. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Uh, one point I'm going to say Bridget, purely because um, she is the opposite of me. Um, we have found a common ground to get along in here, but I could live without her in here. Well, after a day you get the house. Hard well, I said I would, so I do. That was quick. That was short way. So far, four housemates have cast their votes, and it couldn't be any closer. Bridget is on three votes, Alice, Bianca, Renee and Terry are all on two, and Nobby only has one vote. Coming up, five more housemates left to vote. Who will be up? So far, four housemates have cast their votes, and it couldn't be any closer. Bridget is on three votes, Alice, Bianca, Renee and Terry are all on two, and Nobby only has one vote. <clears throat> ben. Big brother. Who do you nominate for two points, and why? Uh, for two points, I'd like to nominate Alice. Um, I don't like how controlling and domineering she is of the whole group thing that goes on. She's no longer head of house, but she's still sort of taking on that role as mum of the house. Um, I'm stoked with the mum I've got. I don't need another one. Uh, I didn't apply for this show to be ruled by anyone but Big Brother. Um, so I don't think she has any authority over me whatsoever. And uh, I don't appreciate being told what to do and how to do it by, by you know, someone who's just as equal as I equal to me. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Uh, one point I'd like to nominate Bridget. Um, her harsh insults have uh, crossed the line I think. Um, she quite often just picks you know <clears throat> stuff about people's physical features and just you know gives them crap for it. Bridget, who do you nominate for two points and why? For two points I'd like to give to Ben because um, I don't like some of the comments that come out of his mouth towards me, such as, you're dumb because you're from Canberra and Canberra people suck. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, I want to give one point to Nobby because um, also pretty much the same reason he, like last night he decided it would be funny to just rub a massive piece of cake in my face and he's just always picky on me so I want to give him a point. Uh, for two points uh, this week I nominate Bianca. Um, reasons for nomination is um, I think a large age gap causes me to tiptoe around her because she can take things that um, are often not so defensive in a defensive way and it frustrates me because um, I have to stop and twist my tongue 20 times instead of 10 to make sure that shoelaces are done up and things are said well because she takes things very seriously. For one point this week I nominate Travi. Um, similar reasons uh, in a another, in completely the opposite scale. I find that having a normal conversation can be difficult because it is a very narrow-minded view. Again, you have to simplify things or, or change a whole wavelength of a conversation to make sure that it is well explained um, compared to anyone else. So it's a very jolted conversation. For two points, I nominate Alice. Um, a nice girl, 
and I like her a lot and we get on fine. Um, it's just that um, I feel as though she doesn't really contribute to any entertainment value in the house and also just uh, she might say something behind people's backs and say something different and I've caught, um, caught her on numerous occasions and also she just starts talking about strategy this strategy that and I just can't work out what her agendas are at all. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, for one point I'm gonna have to nominate Terry. I actually to be honest I like having her in the house for some reason just but no. Uh, for two points for nomination this week, I choose to nominate Bridget. Um, I feel that um, with Bridget, I never know whether she's going to be nice to me or whether she's going to be um, not nice to me. And I, I felt that we were quite close um, as a as a couple in the house and. Um, then she kind of turned on us in the dancing week. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, for one point for nomination, I nominate Renee. I think that I frustrate her sometimes and just the way that she kind of reacts to that, like, oh, Trav, yeah, you annoy me or and stuff like that. I'm just thinking, yeah, that's, like, people annoy me too, but I don't really... Um, get that frustrated and impatient with them and say, say it to their face um, and get really upset with them, so. Travis, return to the lounge. Say nothing of your nomination to your fellow housemates. Cool bananas. Thanks, big brother. That is all. After all housemates have voted, the final tally is Alice and Bridget in the lead on six votes, Bianca on four, Renee and Terry on three, Ben and Nobby on two votes each, and Travis on one. This is Big Brother. Housemates, the result of this week's nominations are in. Mark, if you said everyone. This week, there are three nominees. They are Alice, <gasps> Bianca, <gasps> so and Bridget. <sighs> Housemates, see you in the eviction room on Sunday night. See you, mm. see you then. That is all. There you go. Wow, so it's the first time. Dixie this is oh, this so first time I'm shocked. Unknown to the housemates, there's a twist to the nominations. As her hand grenade, last night's evictee, Dixie, has been given the power to save someone. The housemate that I've decided to save is Alice. Alice is saved, which means Renee and Terry on equal points drop down and are nominated in her place. None of the housemates know this because Dixie's message was not played to them. They'll have to wait until Sunday to find out. I expected to be there. I really did. Terry, I told you a million times you're not going to be here. Yes, it's all changed. Australia, you now vote to evict. Vote for the person you like least from the nominated housemates and on Sunday, the most unpopular person will be booted from the house. To vote to evict this week's nominated housemates, dial 1902 5555 and then for Bianca at 64, for Bridget at 61, for Renee at 63, for Terry at 67, or text their name to 191010. Remember, you now vote to evict. Get phoning, Australia. Your votes will decide who leaves this Sunday. The long votes cost 55 cents max, 190 votes from Mobiles Extra. Lines close at 7.45pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 8th of June. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.com.au. Want more Big Brother? You can watch 24-7 on bigbrother.com.au or on your three mobile. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother. Big Brother.